When talking about younger deer, did you know that fawns, yearlings, and two and a half year old bucks disperse on average two times by the time they hit that two year old age mark? We know that through research that bucks will disperse an average of two times before their second birthday. And how that helps you is where you see that young buck today, chances are he's not gonna be anywhere near that two years from now. And that's good to know. But when we're talking about mature deer, the deer that you see near your hunting properties, they undergo changes starting in late August. You're gonna see these bucks, they're gonna be predictable. You can almost set your watch to where they're gonna be any given morning, any given evening. It's very easy. It's not so easy as you get to September. About September 1st in most areas, that's when you see velvet peel. That's when you see bucks starting to break out of their bachelor groups. Now is when the fun begins for as a hunter because you might not know that deer that's there in September might not be there in October or definitely November, but deer you haven't seen before are gonna start showing up. So that makes it a little bit more exciting, especially bow season. We're in September, we're bow hunting. Pretty predictable deer behavior, especially in farm country. As we get later into September and even early October, I love to break out my crossbow and target some doe areas because let's face it, I like to fill some doe tags and have some venison, but it also allows me to study deer behavior in other areas. But then as we get toward the rut, whether we're bow hunting in the Midwest or whether we're gun hunting in some place else that allows rut hunting during the rut, that buck's behavior is gonna change dramatically. And he's gonna put on a lot more miles in search of does. After the rut, you get to the post rut. We're talking about mostly late November, December, January in some Southern states. Those post rut bucks, they're in recovery mode. And that's important to know because recovery mode is completely different. It's coming back to circle. Those deer are coming back not only to their home ranges, but closer to their core ranges where they're gonna reside for the rest of the year and start it all again next year. Here's another interesting point. Remember, nothing is absolute when it comes to deer and especially deer hunting. Every buck is different. Just because some bucks and a lot of bucks, and in some cases, a preponderance of bucks will travel two, three, four, 500 acres, 1,000 acres, 3,000 acres during the rut, that's not to say all bucks do that because research has also taught us that some bucks are simply homebodies. I hate to equate deer with people, but a lot of times that's the case. Some deer are just lazy. They don't like to go very far or they're comfortable where they're at. Or some deer are bullies and others are not. Those passive aggressive deer, they might stay closer to home. So that's an interesting point because a lot of times people will ask me, you know, if this buck is gonna travel two, three, four miles from where he's normally in August, will he come back in after November, after the rut? Will he know to come back? He definitely knows to come back. That's no different than a teenager going out to check out neighboring towns. They're gonna come back, they know their home range, they're gonna find it. But at the same time, it doesn't mean they desert their home. A lot of times this might just be a one night bender for a buck. He might be out looking for does and he might have covered a lot of ground. Day two, three later, here he comes back again. So it's interesting, not all deer are the same. Okay, so this is the new product I've been telling you about. This is from Wildlife Research Center. It's the new supercharged scrape dripper. What this scrape dripper does, it's basically a scrape dripper on steroids. It's gonna put out that scent a lot faster make that scrape active quicker, faster, by putting out more scent. Now, I've used Magnum scrape drippers from Wildlife for years. They're awesome products. But that, those scrape drippers will put out that scent over a two or three week period. This is gonna put it out in seven to 10 days. So it's, I wanna put about four ounces of scent in there. And then what's, that's gonna, like I said, seven to 10 days, it's gonna get it active quick, fast. If I'm hunting that area great in fall, or if it's in spring and I don't wanna get photos, even better because I'll know if that's maybe a scrape I want to try this fall or well, maybe we'll try a different spot. So like I said, what we're going to do, it's real easy. You just open it up like that. Active scrape is a good scent to start with with this scent dripper. And then I'm just going to guess here, I want to put about half of this bottle in the scrape dripper. That's 
That's about half. Simple as that. So maybe you only have one day to take off from work. Take Friday off, you got a long weekend, get this out the weekend before, you'll be surprised at the deer activity you're gonna see when you're hunting that spot next weekend. For more information on the Supercharged Scrape Dripper, go to wildlife.com.